Christmas is coming and so I sit down and I wonder what am I going to give everyone? Things have got so expensive but I would rather give something that is really personal and the thing is is that I thought that whatever I propagated over the few months is that that's what I'm going to give to my family because it's such a personal thing to give a plant that you've propagated to a family member because they'll always link you to that plant and it's like a blessing so what I've done is I bought these three of the propagations that I did and these are what I'm going to spread out to my family and I still have a lot of stock so I'm going to wrap them up really nicely and uh, and just give it to them and see their reaction so welcome back to my channel I'm Alice and I'm the red soil gardener Now, a while ago, we had talked about my elephant ear, and these are the two propagations that we did. We looked at water propagation, and we also looked at stem propagation. And the thing is, as I pointed out before, with stem propagation, do look for the node and cut below the node. And then from there, that's where the rooting will come from. And look at these beautiful ones. I'm very proud of these. And this one's actually getting a new leaf. And this one, I may have to put a stick to hold it straight. So I will support that. So I have two, which I will give to family members. Now, the other thing I we talked about a while ago, and we will give you the link, is the agronema. And this is the Chinese um, uh, evergreen. But what I've been doing is actually propagating it and sticking it in this container. Now, the reason why I did it is that my sister wanted a uh, wanted an agronema and within here is i've stuck a lot of the propagated babies from the stem and once she does look after it because remember it doesn't like direct sun but i will give her a little notice where to tell her how to look after that plant but i think from this she'll have quite a lot of stock to fill her whole house a great Christmas present for my sister. Now, another plant we had talked about, which, um, which we talked in detail, was the Talanthia. We had talked about me removing some of my Talanthias from the garden and actually replacing it with new foliage. But the thing about the Talanthia, remember it is a forest plant and it is a prayer plant. And the beautiful thing about these prayer plants is that during the day they open up to get the sunlight and in the evening they close to, in order to conserve the moisture. And what we did in that episode, we put two different types of Talanthias in one pot just to give it a color. So we had the variegated, which has taken off. And if you see, I've actually got a flower. I'm so pleased about it. And then we had the other type of Talanthia is that what I've noticed, all the shoots are coming up here. So what we're going to do here is, um, just to give it a bit of proportion, is I'm going to snip some of these leaves, because they were, they were the old leaves, and I'm just going to remove it there. And I'm going to remove this one here. Now, I think the other thing, what we had pointed out, when you do do a cutting of the leaves, a pruning, is just make sure that you don't cut it completely down because if you look on the side of the stem that I've cropped, there is a new leaf coming up. And if you do cut it and cut that uh, the new leaf, then you've lost a, a beautiful leaf. So what I've done here, again, is that here is where the new leaf is coming. I've just cut above and you're good to go. 
So with this plant, I think I'm going to give it to my niece. She has an abundance of flower uh, plants in her house. And basically, I think she will enjoy this because it is quite an unusual plant. And with the variegated and the plain and the prayers at, in the evening as it closes its leaves and opening it in the morning. So I think she'll really enjoy this one. So basically, there you go. So do look into your propagation and see what you can give to your family because for them it is something that is created by you and you've nurtured it and you've loved it and when you do give it to them it's full of love and what a good Christmas present that would be. So fellow gardeners enjoy your Christmas and see what you have. Thank you for following our channel and don't forget to like and to share and also press that notification button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I hope you've learned something and look at this, do give presents out, flowers, plants, it's so uplifting and I'm sure you will enjoy that too. Have a lovely day.